China is so black and white that you really need to work within the grey to do business here. Well, in fact, even to survive here. Over the, the many years, and I'm not talking 10 years, I'm talking sort of hundreds, thousands of years, China has built a very, very successful bureaucracy. Possibly it started bureaucracy in the first place. Anyone who's uh, lived and worked in China, um, even opening a bank account, is very laborious. It doesn't take hours, it can sometimes take weeks. Uh, that's how bureaucratic the system is. And because that this bureauc bureaucratic situation, uh, this bureaucracy exists in every part of life, the Chinese now live in the grey. They live in that grey space, not the black and white, but they live in that grey space in order to survive. Let me explain what I mean. So Jackie is a friend of mine. Jackie was born in Shanghai, is married, has a child here in Shanghai. And he um, gave me a call one day because he needed my assistance. See, what had happened was Jackie had uh, booked everything online for his holiday to Australia, uh, only to discover that to get an Australian visa, he needed a passport with at least six months validity. His passport did not. So he needed to go to his local China Exit Entry Bureau to get a new passport, a new five, 10 year passport, so that he could apply for a visa to go to Australia. So he went to the, um, the Exit Entry Bureau here in Shanghai, over in Lu Lujiazui, um, only to discover that the process was going to take well over a week, at least seven working days. So around about two weeks uh, on average. But the problem was that, that Jackie realized that he wouldn't have enough time to both get a new passport and a visa to go uh, to Australia. So he did what any Chinese would do. They looked for their guanxi, the grey. Now, the black and white was it would take seven working days. That's black and white. There was nothing you could do about it. There wasn't an express opportunity. There wasn't, you couldn't pay more money. You had to use the only uh, option available to you, and that was the seven days. But that didn't, that couldn't work for Jackie because Jackie had already bought his flight tickets, his hotel. So Jackie did what a lot of Chinese did, they used their guanxi. And in this case, Jackie used his mother. And his mother went to university with another fellow who was an employee of the Exit Entry Bureau. And through this, this convoluted relationship, uh, he was able to get his new passport, uh, which would be valid for five or 10 years, and then use that to apply for an Australian visa. Except, of course, he didn't have any guanxi at the Australian uh, embassy or the, the consulate in Shanghai. And that's why he gave me a call. Maury, he asked, he said, do you know anyone at the, at the consulate? Can you help me? And I said, well, I know a lot of people at the consulate. I've been in China for a long time and certainly, certainly know a lot of people, but there's no way I can help you. Australia doesn't work like that. And, and if, if someone was caught using guanxi to um, apply for a visa to fast track the system, they could possibly lose their job or worse, uh, could, could even be fined or, or, or be penalized, go to jail. But I said, Jackie, there's something that I'm sure exists. So I haven't never needed a visa myself. Um, I'm sure that there's a fast track visa system. Have a look, go there and see if there is. And lo and behold, when Jackie went there, um, there was a 72 hour fast track. Of course, he had to pay more money. I'm not saying it was cheaper or, or uh, the same price, but he was able to get the visa uh, in 72 hours. That, that, those fast track systems, they, they don't often exist in China. And so as a consequence of this black and white culture, Chinese need to work in a gray area. And sadly, some of those gray areas can be on the borderline of you know, illegality, um, corruption. So when you're in China, when you're working here in China, just be aware that Chinese will be working in the gray they, they will realize that you can't operate in a black and world society and just be prepared to uh, find those loopholes.